I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to find Q of a complex number. We know the formula what is A minus B whole cube equals to. A minus B whole cube is A cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square minus B cube. Right? So we will apply this formula to expand and then simplify. You can also use Pascal's triangles at time. So we have 2 minus 3i whole cube equals to 2 cube right minus 3 times 2 square times 3i let me write in brackets right plus 3 times a which is 2 for us times b square which is 3i minus 3i whole cube 2 cube is 8 4 times 3 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36, i, i square is minus 1, right, so let me rewrite here, we know that uh, i square is minus 1, i to the power of 4 is 1, well we have i cube, so what is i cube, i cube is minus 1 times i, which is minus i, is it okay, so we'll use these expressions, okay, so we have plus, 3 times, let me rewrite this as 3 times 2, okay, times, this is 9, i square, okay, minus 3 times, 3 cube is 27, i cube, okay, so we have 8 minus 36 i plus 6 times 9, 54, i square is minus 1, and we have minus 27, i cube is minus i right so we'll write minus i so we have 8 minus 36 i minus 54 plus 27 i right so now we can combine the real part which is uh, 8 minus 54 which is minus 46 and the complex part which is uh, 27 minus 36 and it's equals to minus 9, minus 9i, right? So that becomes the answer for this question. So 2 minus 3i whole cube can be written as minus 46 minus 9i, right? So that is how we could write it in simpler form as a complex number. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.